hello everyone so this video is going to be definitely a uh, very exciting for those who are android developer and want to fetch data free from mongodb and want to make their site a uh, dynamically they have different option like firebase but mongodb is freeware so i am going to explain or demonstrate most important thing that we can create our own endpoint in this uh, using mongo and also show the demonstration of this api how we can use api in our android development so let's get started for the main point for example i have a database and in database i have a browse collection so once i have a browse collection so i have uh, this jobs uh, collection and in this job collection i have uh, four documents which you can see for example senior power bi developer and we have a url for linkedin and similarly we have sq engineer and senior dba so in our data power bi uh, in, uh, this record power bi developer is coming from mongodb and once i click this record it will actually go in a detail and also generate the url for that so this is actually demonstrate i'm going to show in this video with all the necessary development which i did in android studio so first thing is that we can use a app service which is actually open a real m mongodb real m mongodb is a feature uh, which where we can develop our own endpoints so i have developed few endpoints for example fast data is my endpoint so which is actually going to be fetching data from my job site so it's a freeware uh, and if you come app data service and here you have a http endpoint you need to go here you can see i develop different endpoints get job get sales even i can write back it from my android to mongodb so if i click add endpoint let's say this is a similar interface if i click my add endpoint or edit endpoint i need to give the name of my job a route and this is my url which i need to use in my android app i will go for it uh, later so we have a different method get post put update so we are fetching data so i am using get here then we have to create a function and my function is fetch job where i need to write a script so i will tell you how to write a script so after that once i done it i have to save it once i save it so it will go and deploy it once i deploy it so here my function for example fetch job is my function which is actually fetching uh, all the jobs all the collections uh, uh, all the document from the collection i would say so this is my string where i am going to use context service cat this is my mongo at loss url and then this is my collect database and this is my collection and i am returning a docs so i can actually run it here and test it here that will it return my result properly if it's return result properly like this which means my function is performing well and it has correct and one more thing here you need to use authentication system rather than by default is showing application authentication but you need to change its system for the sake of this demonstration so once you create this thing your own endpoint now you need to come back in 
android development where what you have to do first let me minimize this and i am using manifest file so first you need a uh, permission for internet this is a mandatory requirement it's up to you that you will allow access to the network or not but my system has a requirement my app has a requirement so i add this line but you have this line must be available because your app will be run on internet and after that your uh, app level uh, project level burn build gradle will be the same and but you need to add here uh one thing which is your version should be minimum sdk 24 okay and nothing else is specially required on this site so what i did actually in this i create a job class which is same as i have a job title job url and expiry date so in my collection document i have three columns job title job url and expiry date so what i did i create a job class here and this is my main function where i am going to fetch my data and this is a url which i show let me show again one more time to make you better understanding that i have a get job endpoint and this is my endpoint i created so endpoints get jobs so endpoint get job so this is my mongo url what i need i have to use a few java based libraries however my code is written in kotlin so but you know that kotlin is top working over the java so we don't need to worry about that after that we have to use connection and provide this type of thing uh, input streaming data and once i fetch the result i am going to convert into json and now here i am breaking down my columns or the columns which are returning from the document in a variable job title job your expiration date and after that on post execution i am actually actually this is a requirement for this code that we have to be asynchronous job rather than a simple job we need to write a asynchronous job so that's why we are we are using on post execution and in job activity page if i go here one thing i would like to mention you that this is my class and here my fetch data so i need to run it in a background so this is one of the requirement and job should be async which i already tell you and if i go to dashboard activity and here i am going to fetch jobs which is actually i am fetching or calling this kotlin program which is handling a url for getting data from mongodb so this is one thing and job service dot execution once we fetch this then we have as populating the data uh, in a list view and we displaying and once we click on a list view uh, on click maybe so here we have a detail of the job we have a one by one field uh, specifically each field and for job url we are using web view so this is actually a demonstration let me run this program for you one more time so here you can see we have a uh, four records which are coming from our mongodb so here this is a way where you can access your mongodb and you can make very delicate very smart application using dynamically or pushing or getting the data from data base as well so thank you very much for watching this video